Hello and welcome back to uh, f a free New Vegas led by the glorious Courier 6 in uh, Courier 6 Redux, a uh, submod of uh, Hot Swan 4 Oval Blues. Now we start off episode 3 a lot stronger than uh, we did episode uh, 2. I have uh, almost 100% stability, 25% war support over 0, almost... Uh, 10 times the manpower which is great and significantly bigger and uh, I plan to grow a lot more in the next uh, year and a half uh, with this episode. I'm going to take out the Sky Reavers and uh, annex the Mojave Territories and now because I am so much stronger there's some changes I want to go through before we get started. First of all I'm going to be growing my army hopefully quite significantly this episode, so I want to go up from Wasteland Militias to Funded Militias, so I want that extra 2% uh, recruitable population, so we're going to get that done. Then I am going to be starting a Cryptology Department for my inevitable war against uh, the Legion when helping out my good old faction friends, the NCR here. Uh, as for construction, I'm mainly focusing on finishing up some of these military factories and then it is all infrastructure for resources and supply as well as some more civilian factories. Production is playing, staying pretty much the same and then I am boosting up my recruitment of uh, infantry companies. I will also boost up my Securitrons once I uh, am actually producing enough to do so. As for the tourist trade, which I've been battling with so far the entire playthrough, I am uh, going to do my best to go all out and uh, do everything I can to actually win this thing against New, New Reno. And that's about it. So, focus is starting off. I'm going to continue uh, with the, uh, the, the family's uh, little sub-branch over here. Just to strengthen uh, my economy and all that and give me some extra time to create some more units before I take on the Sky Reavers. Starting off with Grimora here. Where the strips of the casinos are refined, the Grimora is rough around the edges and coarse as it offers uh, sleazy sex for sale. Top of the uh, attractions list is prostitution, then booze and drugs, and finally gambling. This is going to be one arms workshop and 75,000 bottle caps. Holy alphabetic ciphers is finished. Now I'm going to move on to simple circuitry for an extra 3.5% boost in my research speed. I am going to be banking this uh, political power to uh, hire some advisors later on. Now that Grimoire is completed, I am going to uh, first of all reset this here and go for the Omatis. A highly organized and deadly group of mobsters, the Mertus control the Gomorrah Casino, a sleazy vice den on a grand scale, and as such embodies the ruthless exploitation beneath the glitz and glamour of the strip's neon signs. So I'm going to get a new economic advisor once this is done. It's going to be Nero, who's going to give me more resources. It's going to cost me a little bit of stability, and my efficiency cap is also going to go up by 10%. Um, just want to show you here that... Uh, Lanius is doing quite well here. Uh, other wars in the area are going as expected. I still want to see what's uh, happening again with New Reno because uh, taking over them uh, may be part of my focus tree going further. And then now that I have above 40 command power, I want to swap out, swap out my commanding officer for Ulysses. I mean, uh, our base getting booned on his uh, planning logistics and Ulysses is just so much better than him. So, promote Ulysses up and he will now be in charge of uh, the 6th Division. Militia training is finished. Next quickest one is going to be additional plating. This is going to just make my forces uh, that much harder and recover a little bit faster. And the tourism results are in. Unfortunately, I did uh, 
not come out on top but i did get uh, 253,000 bottle caps and a small boost to my uh, development for for my new vegas trade node so let me promote the node one more time and do i have this yeah create route okay so that's more money coming in and now it's time to go all out before i go so there are ten thousand ahead of me i'm going to start with the most expensive and work my way up oh, great working with the all three sort of 58 uh, thousand change lightweight metals is finished now let me get uh, my next uh, cast the monoplane uh, attacker along with my victory flyers research boots that's why i'm choosing that one first it'll go a little bit faster and i'm going to get some nice boost to my aircraft so the matters is finished next one to go through is addiction for sale but i need to hire nero first so let's do that uh, there we are and who do we have here flip oh i'm going to get you as soon as i can for get back some of that little bit of stability then <clears throat> so addiction for sale jet cells sex cells mentat cell everything vice they tell you that you're not supposed to have in this life sells damn well and there's no doubt as to which bastion of vice is the best place to get it on the strip modify the motors give me a little bit of extra political power five percent more recruitment population is good and my consumer uh, goods goes down as well then let's pick a new operative uh, okay and you got linguist going to take papas over here you can just uh, do some defense and then i'm not going to be picking a doctrine instead let's have a look at the spirits now this academy officers is actually my favorite um yeah the leader cost goes up 50 percent, but we're getting still getting it quite a lot for free and uh planning schools plus two and uh the new level will be plus one but uh this is new vegas we've got robots so i'm going to go all out to get logic compressors this is all in addition to the extra level give me an extra 10 percent to my encryption and decryption and now my starting planning level of my omni is going up a plus four which is going to make their tax absolutely wonderful metalworking is done now initially i wanted to go after public projects for the uh, little bit of extra accrual population and my factory output but uh, i am a bit low on uh, resources so I don't want to run out, so instead I'm going to go for steam part extraction just to get the extra 12% uh, more resources. There we go, addiction for sale is done. So let me now finish off the Gomera one with Mobster Army. The Ometas uh, are always packing heat, explosives, and a thousand other nasty things. When push comes to shove, they are the closest thing any New Vegas family has to an army. Countless men looking to prove themselves. And I'm going to get two arms workshops to uh, help me make some security arms faster. And now let me get Philip over here for more stability and supply efficiency as well. Additional plating for my forces is done. Now I actually want to move across and get uh, focus fire just to improve my heart attack and piercing. Uh, not only for my support anti-tank on my power arm, but also for my combined arms platoon. Marching fires done. There we go. Now it is now hit and run. Organization loss and moving minus 10%. Special forces minimum capacity plus uh, 20%. And my entire army is going to move 10% faster as well. And mobster army completes this uh, branch of the meters. Now let's do the tops. The tops offers a classic Vegas experience with cool, hip, fun and macho posturing to entice those with a sense of style. This is a place for manly men with a dame on each arm and the people that run it are just as ritzy. So two building slots for New Vegas and another 75,000 bottle caps. The tops is finished now because I went with the uh, classic uh, New Vegas uh, choices. Next time, no, now I need to go down for Betty's line here with the chairman. The chairman embody an ancient cool aesthetic of Vegas, plucked from Mr. House's historical data bands. 
Banks, molded to be the slickest cats in town, the chairmen have become more than wannabe gangsters. They've become the genuine article, dangerous men playing dangerous games. And Benny will be my new cultural advisor, and he's going to give uh, Intel Network Strength plus 20% and own Operative Detection Chance minus 40%, which is going to be quite useful. Focus fast, finish, and now I want to jump back to this side, and I want to get Pioneer Kit just to improve... Uh, the equipment for my special forces or light special forces there we go the chairman is finished but before i can carry on with uh, the next one i need to hire benny so uh is it this one no there we go benny ace in the hole improves my uh, operatives quite a lot and then i also, can also get swank here which is going to give me 7.5% extra stability and a decrease to my conscription economy and trade laws. So there we go, 100% stability now. I'm going to be uh, spending my political power on uh, giving out some citations to my uh, unit leaders. So let's have a look at what we have and supply consumption, division recovery rate, division organization and HP. I always advise going for organization first so the guys can fight for as long as they possibly can. Can I do one more? No, I cannot. But now, army the chairman. The chairman have always had uh, an eye on what's hip, be it in the nice suits they wear, the snazzy casino they live in, or the soothing rat-a-tat-tat -tat of underslung tommy guns that they wield against those unlucky enough to insult their uh, dames guns like that don't come cheek but thankfully well, they've got caps to spare no two building slots these times filled with arms factories simple circuitry means more research speed now i want to go for radio detection uh, i already have some radars in new vegas uh, but uh, this will allow me to build uh, the level one ones uh, now wherever i want once that's completed now that steam pile extraction is done, I can move on to public projects for a little bit extra population, a little bit more factory output. There we go. So, chairman are going to get more Tommy guns. Now for Benny's new deal. The chairman are the most profitable casino in the, on the strip and wealth luck that lets them throw a lot of weight around when it comes to high, comes hard time for the families to decide what nobody's business is getting what amount of caps has trickled down from the strip okay cool uh, modify the chairman civilian factory construction speed plus 10 percent and landfall construction speed also it goes up by 10 percent so benny new deal marks the end of this uh, sub branch of the tree i'm not going to do the lucky 38 opens right now i don't have an urgent need for 250 political power so instead, I am going to do some UFO scouting. Uh, some weirdo from Freeside says he saw a UFO from the f uh, for the 51st time. But what the hell is a UFO? A little hint of curiosity couldn't hurt. The weirdo says that the UFOs are what the aliens ride in the sky and that he has uh, saw one fly up north. Time to take a look. So this is going to give me claims and a war goal on Sky Reaver's core territories. So that means I'm going to stop training my units. I have uh, added on seven since the start of this episode, uh, two Securitrons and five Infantry. I'm hoping it's going to make a, a nice difference in an easy push north here. And also I think it is hard time to actually start my scavenging program as well. Uh, currently sitting... Don't think I'm going to win again. We'll find out in a few days. I'm at 23,000 and new arena's at 27. So I might lose out again. All right, there we go. And unfortunately, I was right. Lost out again, but this time got 264 and a half thousand bottle caps uh, and an extra 0.1 to my development. Let's see if I can upgrade once again. Yes, promote the note to level 8. All my trade routes are used up. But now, let's start this all over again, trying to uh, actually win this for once. And my monoplane attack is finished, so now let me get the Fighter 3 and make sure I put them into production straight away. 
and 35 arm experience means I can now go for my next army spirit. I decided to go for flesh before steel. If I was going for a uh, Mr. House, I would go through superiority of metal here because I would go for cybernetic implants. But uh, f a fish before steel is going to give uh, some pretty damn bo good boost to my power armor, my last special forces, and my infantry armor, as well as extra defense, all at the cost of 5% uh, speed. But I have boosted that quite a bit already this uh, playthrough. I really am getting ready for War Pioneer Kits done. Now I want to jump back to support equipment and I want to make a decision about uh, my demolitions equipment. Now I'm not basing this on what type I want to use because I have the uh, uh, Red Glare rocket launcher already. So I want to, I'm actually bo uh, basing it on these stats here, this uh, passive stats. And I want to get volatile, uh, volatile explosives because it gives me extra hard attack and soft attack and piercing. My second choice was uh, sustained pressure here for defense, but uh, I've got quite a few defense and breakthrough boosts already, so I want to get this one. So frag grenades is what I'm going to go for. Then let's pop these guys into production and upgrade my uh, special forces. And there we go with the insufficient resources alarm once again. So the time has come to go peek north at these uh, UFOs. Now luckily I get to do one more focus uh, uh, before I take out uh, Area 51. And that is the Area 51 raid. Scouts returned with reports that they didn't find any UFOs, but they did find an old military base further north of Nellis. Mr. House's database suggests this is the old Area 51 base and is now a raider fortress. Taking the base for Vegas will be a good business move. So I'm going to get Sneering Imperialist in 15 days. This is uh, improved relations, um, uh, maintain cost plus 20%. Division attack plus 10% at the cost of trader deal opinion factor minus 50%. Basically, this is a nice focus for if you have a weak army, but still want to push north to give you that extra 10% boost. Then before we go off, let me get some perks here for Ulysses as my commander. Now, I want to keep uh, this heavyweight or light touch option open because I might still get tanks I want to keep that one so instead let me get I could get that all the way across but that will cost me two so let's get hmm I like melee hacker that could be a good one yes okay Let's go for melee hacker for extra division attack plus five percent, and then sneaker and pierced. So my train penalty reduction goes down by by fifteen percent. That'll be one open to make a choice here. Or if I get a land, uh, oh, sorry, terrain trait, I can get my improvisation expert as well. Okay, what else can we grab here? I've already given robotics expert here. So let me, since they are going to be mainly defensive once I get a big enough army, let's get rooted. Here we go. So that's all said and done. Let me change my resources ever so slightly up to export focus. Just get all 20% more uh, uh, resources. Hopefully they can take care of that. And then war goal. Declare war on the Sky Reavers. Set off my attack and let's hope for the best here. Okay, security on the attack a lot stronger than I thought. I did get uh, an extra one. Do I want help? No, I don't. I will decline. Decline. Ah, free fighters, why not? Three divisions. That'll work nicely. Pushing nicely. Okay, North Passage is done. I'm pretty sure I can just overwhelm them completely.
Yes, there we go. Oh, Area 51 raid is done. Now I can't do anything until I've captured Area 51. So let's find out about a peculiar follower, shall we? The followers of the apocalypse have established their presence in Freeside. While they're already quite uh, helpful maintaining stability in poorer parts of Vegas, enlisting one of their own will be beneficial. And wonder who this peculiar follower is going to be. I actually wonder if I can take these guys out. I guess pursuit. Oh, I'll get more troops. Okay. 13, 14, 15, okay, almost doubled what I had, and entice opponents, what are, oh, I'm actually leading, that's brilliant, okay, so this is 50 days, very good, 151, I'm actually might get this one, <clears throat> that'll be quite nice if I can actually win that thing for once, radio detection's done, let me get let's get dysmetric rate let's get rate up two and upgrade what i have okay three fighters have arrived already and they are going i don't know where okay fair enough scurry is already losing hit and run ah that gave me a nice boost to my special forces cap here we go. Okay, heavy special forces are going to get extra breakthrough, soft and high attack. And my entire army is going to get extra 5% defense. Oh, White Legs declared war on New Canaan. Not good for them. Not a lot of chances to actually uh, do some flanking moves here, unfortunately pretty narrow but i have better equipment especially with my uh, combined arms platoons oh, more infantry thank you so i can just ground them down with better equipment i will win the day eventually Okay, mate, doing quite well here. I seem to break these guys. Once I've whittled down their equipment and manpower. What peculiar follow who do we have here? The courier met a strange follower of the apocalypse. Despite the bleeding heart, and the man named Arkan Ganon is sending me out of place amongst his follower colleagues. There must be something interesting and valuable information. Yeah. Uh, that he may be willing to share, although he reasonably told the courier, no offense intended, but why should I go anywhere with you? To improve the state of free side, of course, intelligence one, world complicated, help me do things. I'm a bit smarter than that, so let me improve the state of free side, of course, and I get a new unit leader. So, guess who I saw today is next? After spending much time with Arcane, he opened up and told us tales of his father's past. It seems the man is affiliated with the Enclave, and that there is an uh, sorry that are uh, there are other remnants living quietly amongst the populace of the Mojave. Listening their help could prove useful, and Arcade can point us to where they are. He suggests meeting the Enclave remnant located in Jacobstown first. Guess who I saw today? More lovely references to our beloved. Fallout New Vegas. Let's carry on pushing these Sky Reavers back north to Area 51. Okay, my planes are running quite nicely. I have air superiority. Okay, that's running quite well. Come on, guys. Just got to get to the right point where they start to collapse. Let's just stand those tools, get my production efficiency cap and the growth up. <coughs> Let's have a look here. I know that uh, Lanius, yeah, Lanius took the hang dogs. This only thing is now, will he go east or west? 
do I have? Okay, I only want there. So we're gonna have a power arm. We can do that one. How many factories do I have on power armor? Okay, I might need to increase the production of that there. Okay, fragmentation grenades is done. Brilliant. Okay, 100 days on that one. So let's go here. Now, which one do I want to take? Definitely not. That's a good choice. Air attack. Don't think it's going to be a problem. So I'm going to go for high cabinet ammunition. So let me get the LMG. There we go. Uh, don't need to make you. I've got much better equipment. Oh, Eureka's going against Umbra. This is the point. Just need to break through this point here. Asset retreat, retreat, retreat. And there's no other way through. Just have to grind it down. Oh, guess what I saw today is done. Arcade was right on visiting Dr. Henry. First, as gaining his support uh, needed a lot of effort. The man was driven and he would not abandon his stealth boy research for the sake of the Nightkin, but it's mostly for the sake of science. The courier helped out his research, but before he agrees to give his support, he has one more condition, to take night, the Nightkin named Lily Bowen and monitor the effects of a prolonged use of Dr. Henry's prototype stealth boy. Let's go, dearie. I'll get another general. Fantastic. Now, I'm not going to take long uh, for old anxiety right now. I'm going to save that later when I take on the Legion. So, things that go boom. Since the early days of the founding of New Vegas, locals tell stories of the Islamization uh, group, I hope I said that right, hanging around the Nellis Air Force Base. Anyone who dared enter the vicinity of the base was peppered with artillery and no contact has been established. With the coming war between the NCO and the Legion, Vegas cannot afford to have the so-called boomers be unchecked. Gets the event dealing with the boomers in 30 days. I hope I can deal with these guys. We'll make, there we go, that's what I need. Okay, can we please, can you guys try sneak in there before they can reinforce? Okay, I think we've hit that point where they just cannot hold back anymore. There we go. Okay, now we are pushing nicely. Okay, I do have some guys on defensive. I'm going to see what happens now where it splits. You guys can hang around here. That's okay with me. Lanius goes west. All right, so Kaiser's Legion is now the biggest bad guy in the wasteland. And if Kaiser falls, which he probably will from his tumor, that means Lanius should be in charge because he should have enough. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Hmm. Oh, this is going very good. Okay, now let's see what happens now. Okay, they're not pushing anymore. And you, no, you go in there. Keep them busy. Glory, that's the word. Lenny should have not glory. Okay, what do we have here? Decisions. Oh, how much money do I have? 241. Okay, so let's go for, ah, I'm not in the lead anymore. 70 days, so 100 days, that's a no. 75 days, that's a no. 75 days, that's a no. Let's try this one out here. And turn these ones off. Maybe I can get a few more. Okay, going to leave those arms factories for now. Okay, Kaito Springs is the only one they have left. It always ends with these kind of guys. Oh, more money, thank you. Actually, now I think about it, how's my... 
for sure. Haven't uh, upgraded those guys in a while. There we go. Come on, come on. And all done. And at the same time, things that go boom is done. How lucky for me. Extra equipment. Take everything. Job done. Okay. So we took five states. Yes, I know. What do we have here? Dealing with the boomers. The boomers are hostile towards anyone who tries to approach their base and refuse to trade with anyone, but we managed to evade the artillery and earn their respect. It would be in Vegas' best interest to increase relations with the boomers and have them point their guns at the enemy, but for now, trading basic materials with them will do. Nice to meet them boomers. And, well, 250% bonuses for support technology and a whole bunch of resources. Lovely. What do we have here? Decisions available. Yes. Okay, so let's bring down some resistance and also investigate some rumors. See what tech I can get. Things that go boom is done. Now I want to go back to this because here I'll be able to core everything and it's going to bring down uh, up just changing everything all the way around. So first of all, let's search for some alien tech. There really isn't any aliens in Area 51. That's just some old world myths, but a little prospecting operation wouldn't hurt. So I've got a 50% chance of getting scrap and high-tech components, 40% chance of robotics engineering research bonus, and a 10% chance of sophisticated weapons technology. Hopes that that's the one I get there. Obviously it's only 10%. And I will dish out these arms factories and... I just missed out on 50 so I can get the uh, last up, uh, spirit. But okay, let me put... I'm going to think about where to put my army now and I'll see you after the next focus. Or maybe sooner. Desmetric radar finished. Let's get back to some research with complicated circuitry for 3.5% uh, boost to my research speed and also... This will be a nice boost for my uh, naval equipment if I actually ever built some. There we go. Light machine guns are done. Now, I would be a fool if I did not take advantage of this 50% research bonus to get my rocket launchers. So I can get uh, these uh, into production as fast as I possibly can. The search for alien tech is done. And yes, sophisticated infantry tech. Doesn't get better than that. All right, now let me restore the base. With the base finally under control of New Vegas, much of the base is in need of repairs. Thankfully, it didn't suffer much damage from the nuclear war, and we can restore many of its systems and infrastructure. So, Area 51 plus three infrastructure and production of seven power in Area 51. That's going to be great for getting my energy cells, because I did notice I had a problem with that uh, during the war. So, uh, take care of that. There we are, fighter threes are done. Now I want to grab an extra 5% range because uh, Arizona is a big place and doesn't have a lot of airfields for my aircraft. Let's put these guys into production. Still need to fill out my current squadron requirements. Now I popped, uh, I forgot to mention this earlier, but I popped uh, my first uh, battalion up here on the north because... Uh, these are my only possible enemies right now if they want to try something like a raid or anything else like that. And then I have set up my security trance to guard the coastline here of the Mojave Territories. Mainly so I can actually see how many I need. I need 16 to cover all these uh, uh, tiles effectively. So I have bumped up my recruitment even though I'm not making a security trance right now. I have bumped up recruitment to two, so that as soon as I can, or as soon as they do fill up, uh, I can start getting some more. So I've restored the Area 51 base, and I've also been able to create a uh, 2nd Battalion uh, under the command of uh, Mr. Boone here. I've moved his Boone's bosses out of uh, 1st Battalion and into 2nd, because he comes with the sniper to give us a actually get the boost out of the last special forces and then I had one infantry left over so I put them there I've put them here on my little border here between the where the Mojave brothers used to be just so it's a bit of essential so they can react to wherever they need to go 
Now, focus wise, it is time to call the old Sky Reavers. So, we didn't find much uh, otherworldly tech in Area 51 base. It's time to assume control of surrounding areas instead. Any raider remnants will be driven out and any untouched ruin will be prospected. Perhaps any technology is still out there instead. Call all the own states called by the Sky Reavers in 45 days. So, it'll give me control of all of this. Now, I have enough for my last army spirit here, and all of these are quite good. I was very interested in getting well trained reserves here for the uh, extra breakthrough and the experienced soldier losses. That's basically uh, maybe level one, almost level two of uh, Kim's, but I didn't like the increased uh, division training time. I want to get as much out as I can. So instead, I'm going to go for organized supply lines. Division speed was 5%, which will uh, cancel out the reduction I, uh, I took here in uh, steel before flesh. And my supply consumption goes down by 10%. So there we go, all sorted. And again, unfortunately, New Reno has beat me out, although I did get 241,000 bottle caps. Um... I am getting close, but I think because I am also upgrading my uh, cryptology department as I go, that is what may be causing me to uh, not uh, get everything that I want. So let's try this again. See, I'm, I'm getting closer, but I'm not there yet. Let's try... Now let's go for 130 and 90. Okay, I can do those ones for now. Standardized tools is done. Now, out of the two options I have here, Backyard Workshops is the uh, bet one for the increase in the population and the factory output. So that's what I'm going to go for. So direct control of the Sky Rivers has been done and I have called all of that. I do want to uh, finish off here just to get some more income as I'm spending quite a lot of money so far. So Area 51 is a bust, no alien technology and there was no standout military tech either for, for now that is. But at least the area can be rebuilt. Once the rumors of aliens spread around the waste, this place will be a tourist trap for travelers coming from the big circle. Add alien tourism which grants caps income plus 10%, passive caps income plus 3.5% every cap is precious right now ah walking tanks is finished now the cho choice between purity over principle uh there is a lot to be said for the purity line but uh, i am instead going to go for principle so first of all recon infiltration decryption plus 10 percent planning speed plus 10 percent special forces plus 20 and reconnaissance which will be good for my defensive goes up by 20 percent as well Okay, at least if nothing, I'm going to get more money out of uh, the Sky Reavers. Now, I have just over a month before I can take for the Republic over here. So, in the meantime, I'm going to go for bef be Befriending the Boomers. There are still many munition stockpiles that Boomers have that we can gain access to. After hanging around Nellis and learning more about them, we can help them out in exchange for more Boom. They have problems with their solar arrays, medicine and explosive ants. We can also find a little girl's tool and get one of their mechanics a girlfriend. Okay then Boomers, alright, so 400 units of grenade rifles. It's going to be added to my national stockpile and I get another 3 uh, electricity as a resource in Nellis Air Force Base. Drop tanks is done. That's giving me a nice uh, range boost. Now I think it's high time I actually uh, increase my robots a little bit. So thruster engines, more recovery rate, more max speed. That's good. The boomers are now my friends. Now I could carry on with the next focus for 30 days. And I've got 6 days until... Uh, focus unlocks so instead i'm going to go for beyond the mojave outside the mojave wasteland are other factions that can potentially aid us against the legion or ncr when the opportunity arises it would be wise to ally with them or take their resources for our own and it's going to modify side best which is the uh, one that started off this tree above me here uh war support plus five percent that's going to be great and just for wartime goal minus five percent that's only 15 days 
and finally I am 30% war support so let me at long last get rid of civilian economy get early mobilization and I'm going to get a uh, quite a large change in my construction speed for my uh, mainly my focus now civilian factories it's going to be done 20% faster so I'll get that one there and unfortunately investigated the rumors has come up with more sand so let's do this again it normally my luck it takes me about three attempts before i find anything good always hoping for my beloved gorse rifles and by the by, beyond the mojave just finished now as well 8th of january i could have done this about a week earlier but i wanted that to finish and now for the republic Vegas enters a full military alliance with the NCR to combat the Legion. The Korea uses his influence with the communities of the Mojave to bring them into the fold. Free Vegas will annex the Mojave territories, cause all the core states of the Mojave territories, and Vegas will now be known as the Nevada Republic. Let's get that done. Complicated circuitry is also finished. Now let me go for long-range radio. A little bit of coordination a little bit more reinforce rate it's all good and now i have rocket launchers so not gonna waste 50 percent boost i'm gonna go for vital point targeting to make this as good as it possibly can be and let's set those up and there we are for the republic is finished i am now known as the nevada republic i have annexed all the Mojave territories and I have gained 19 divisions as well Whew, not a bad haul now this should be according to the focus tree the most south I will be going because I'm supporting the NCR so uh, all my enemies will be to the north and east but that's all for now I'd like to thank you all very much for watching next episode we will uh, Start off by preparing for the war against Kaiser's Legion and then kicking it off. But that's for next time. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.